it's Izzy Brian Brown. Sky Cat. Oh wait, there's nothing we switch names. Okay, but ready? Hey guys! It's Isaac Ryan Brown. And it's me, Sky Cats from Raven's Home, and we are hanging with J14. Yes. Booker, Tess. You know what I'm saying? We do a Halloween episode sort of every year, but this year I think is special because um, you just get to see us be a little funnier than we were. Yeah, it's relatable in the sense that we have costumes during Halloween, like everyone always does. It's different. Usually you just see us in normal streetwear. Um, so it's fun to see everyone dressed up and celebrating Halloween. And I feel like um, October, well, Halloween, they used to have Monster Over on Disney Channel, but Halloween has always been sort of iconic for Disney Channel. Yes, uh, Monster Over was literally the I used to love that. Movie. But um, yeah, this year it's, um, it's even more fun. And I'm so happy they're premiering this episode um, first, because we didn't shoot this episode first. So oh, I'm yeah. Happy we got to, we um, shot it out of order than how they're airing it. Yeah, so I'm happy that, um, you guys get to see this one first. So number one, um, I think we all really loved the, our last principal. I, I forget the character's name, but she was such a hilarious. She's amazing. She's on and off set. Like, fantastic. Like she's great. Principal Kwan. That's her. That's the name of her character. So and um, I was just a huge fan of her. And um, in high school, we get a new principal, and he's he's awesome. Like he's actually equally as awesome. And so um, uh, when Booker goes into high school, he doesn't really know what to expect. I'm saying he's trying out new things, and um, you get to see his principal sort of help him out a little bit. It's a fun um, vibe. Yeah, and as freshmen, we also try to find like a new sense of independence for ourselves, um, including getting part-time jobs, high hey, school parties, Tess has a boyfriend, ooh, Ramon, ooh. and uh, we all try to balance, you know, our friendships with like our relationships and jobs, me with my friendship with, with Nia and my relationship with Ramon, so it's, it's really relatable. All kids have to try to make time for everything in their lives and what's important for them and balance things out. That was rude. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so we do not go to public school um, for high school, but we are homeschooled, so we're in high school, <laughs> yes. And um, so our high school experience is definitely different than what our character's high school experience is like. Yeah, I guess we're kind of vicariously living through our characters in that sense, <laughs> like having a high school experience. We had a, um, uh, last year when we graduated, we had a whole, um, I guess, mock graduation. Yeah, when our characters great. were graduating in, in the show and we were filming that episode, it actually happened to be the time we were graduating in real life. And we all celebrated on set. It was so fun. I'd say having your best friends by your side through, like, your childhood or whatever. Like, you know, it's not, not even just talking about high school. Like, throughout the past few seasons, we've all been by each other's sides and experiencing life together. And that's something that's really relatable to me. I, like, keep my circle small, and I have really close friends that I've been friends with for years. So that's something I relate to. Test. Yeah, I don't have any friends. Um, no, I'm very bad. <laughs> no, I'm I guess the most relatable thing to me was the whole. Um, I don't know if, if, if the viewers remember, but um, in season three we had a whole puberty episode. Book was going through puberty, and I was just listen to his voice and and like play a clip from like season one. And hold on, wait, because like this is like oh no, this is real reaction voice. voice. The craziest thing that's ever happened to me happened, and I can't get anyone to listen. <laughs> no, no um, um, going through puberty that was really good because um. For a long time, my voice was so high and squeaky. And even my singing voice, I was always able to hit notes yeah. that girls could hit. And so, um, like, it was just one day, I just, like, like all of a sudden, I just woke Something up. Something he came to say, like, what's up, guys? Whoa, what's Yeah, it was just, it, was, it, it wasn't like a like a no. dramatic shift. It was, like, instant. And yeah. the day it hit, like, and then it sort of became and, and he And he always sings on set. Like, it's his thing. He'll sing, like, some of his favorite songs from his favorite artists, like, throughout the whole day. And when he would sing... When his voice was squeaky, it was like, all right, cool, like hitting the notes, killing it. And then he hadn't, he had, he hasn't adjusted to like his new voice at the time, so he was still singing those same songs and trying to hit those same notes, Just but he wasn't capable of it. So he was singing all these songs, and Just it did not bad. sound, it did not sound great. Just bad. It was, yeah, yeah it, was it was an adjustment for all of us. It was a nice adjustment, though. They're super nice. But the one with Jordan Fisher, I was so excited because I've been a fan of Jordan Fisher so for talented. forever. And I love him and I love the way, he, I, I love him. And my iPad shut down. It did? Like I couldn't hear, I guess- I couldn't go on that one. I guess I wasn't connecting to the audio or whatever. 
but whatever happened, my iPad just would not let me hear what he was saying. So I could hear him talking and I could see the questions being asked, but I couldn't say anything. Oh, but that must I have killed you. Having to be silent. I was like, like ah. Oh. <laughs> he must have had so much to say, like, as he was going. I was like, yo, just like, like let something. me talk. It, I just couldn't get it out. But, um, yeah. That was fun. Oh, uh, we just basically <laughs> reminisced the whole time. Yeah. It was it was super fun. Um, cause it was around the time where, like I don't wanna say it was the middle of quarantine, but it was sort of towards the beginning. Yeah, it was sort of towards the beginning. It was sort of towards the beginning. And so we were like we were used to seeing each other every day and so we missed each other. And so we just talked about all the times. We got to meet Miranda, Raven's um wife. I can't wait to meet her person. I, I can't wait to meet Miranda. Tuesday, I cannot wait. She has a she's super awesome. She yeah. seems she seems really nice because on FaceTime or whatever. She's, on she's FaceTime, you don't get the real vibe. Yeah. You know, people are always watching what they say or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, chiming in whenever they want to, but in person, like, in person, you know what I'm saying, you get the different. vibe. Yeah, no, I'm excited. If Raven likes her, we'll probably know. 